Selamat Lamai. That's the good evening in the Iban language. Three weeks ago, I met up with some of the local people, now old friends in the jungles of Borneo, who have grey hair just like mine. <laughs> These are the ones I first worked with on orangutans in 1988. We were overlooking the jungle at the balcony of a longhouse, now a national park. They reminded me of how my team and I had tried so hard to get this national park created all those years ago. It actually made me laugh. One of them reminded me that he had been a teenager of 17 when I first rolled up, and he was against the idea for the area being protected for orangutans. I was vividly reminded of those long discussions trying to convince them of the need to protect these orangutans and their habitats. In many ways, the orangutans and their habitats have changed the local people's lives just as it has changed mine. On that trip three weeks ago, I was introduced to another 17-year-old, the grandson of the headman who, had in, who was initially against us, but in the end who, who worked with us. This grandf uh, grandfather had died to, uh, 11 years ago, but now this, old, this young man is part of our survey team looking for orangutans and their nests. On that field trip, I met a family where three generations were committed to working to protect orangutans. Wonderfully, this family is not alone. There are also others which we know of with three generations working for us across the landscape. Conservation works for these families because it means keeping the forest, getting clean water, and seeing clear benefits. I want all Sarakins and Malaysians to realize these benefits. It would make our job a lot easier. Thank you, the judges, the review judges, and Whitley for the confidence in our work. I use the term our as it is the cooperative mix of my colleagues, my team members in the Wildlife Conservation Society, the villagers, as well as the government who've helped make our work successful. Thank you very much.